So what's up everybody? Happy New Year. Hope it's starting out well for you. Uh, we've actually got a whole lot of projects and stuff going on. David's actually cleaning out the cannonball now. He might do a little filming. I'm not sure yet. Been an eventful day. We uh, we actually dropped off Ducky, my uh, my yellow 2000 TJ, up at a friend's shop up in uh, Tifton County. We're in West Tennessee, and uh, he's gonna put a long arm kit on him. I feel like it's been a a long time coming. <laughs> long. Ah. Um. Yeah. No bad joke. <laughs> I did get a laugh though. Hey. Um. Gosh, it feels really weird doing this like vlog thing. May not stick with that. Might stick with, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to be more organic with our, our videos because we do want to do some videos this year. And a um, couple of vehicle changes. Are these not really changes, additions? I don't know, man. It's like, it's, it's been so long since, since we even did a video. Um, the last one I posted was like a year ago and that was just Moab footage from even earlier and I still have Moab footage. I, I need to do something with that because to me it's really good and I miss Moab and I really want to go back and maybe that'll be inspiration to go back. Um, but anyways, still have Ducky, the yellow TJ that you guys have seen and stuff. David has the, uh, oh gosh, this is backwards. That thing, the Wabash Cannonball. That's his 2018 JLU Sport. It's done a lot of good stuff to it. He's got some more stuff he's gonna be doing to it. And on top of that, I have picked up this, uh, also 2018, but it is a two-door Rubicon Recon. Um, I really didn't want a JK, but there was exactly one scenario where I was okay with getting a JK and this ticked 9.5 out of 10 boxes for me being okay with getting a JK. The only thing it didn't have was the Alpine sound system and I've already put in a new radio. Um, shout out to Lewis at Loud and Clear Radios. I'll put a link below if you guys wanna check out some of his stuff. Um, we've actually got one in the JL as well um, and I put a sub in the back. Um, I can't leave things alone like that. I just can't. But I'll, uh, I'll probably do a little walk around on the JK at some point soon. Just to show you guys, um, kind of where I am with that. I'm not going to do much to it. I've done a couple of things. Um, I really want to get some new tires. I don't, I don't like all terrains. And that's what it's rocking now. The BF, BFG, you know, the KO2s, like, it's just not my thing. Um, but other than that, like it's, it's pretty much set up how I want it. And all that money that I might be spending on the JK is just gonna go to Ducky because um, it's the year of the duck, man. We actually earlier, oh gosh, hold on. Yeah, I'm really sucking at this vlogging thing, but that's okay. You guys can have a laugh about it. We actually picked out um, a set of JK Rubicon axles that we're gonna put under Ducky. It's gonna be a long process. It's it's probably gonna, I want it done by October if possible. Whether or not that's gonna happen, who knows. But it's a Ultimate Dana 44 front. It's a JK rear 44. Um, E-lockers, 488 gears. So it's already set up for that. I got some bead locks out of the deals and some 37s. Don't think I'm keeping the tires, but I do want to keep that size. We'll see how it goes. You never know. I may keep the tires, who knows. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, just miss doing videos. Lots happened, lots going on. And um, yeah, so. Anyways, just a quick little little update for you guys. I know it's a very short video, but we're still here. We're working on stuff slowly but surely. And uh, hope to see you in the next one. Later.